My name's Dan Gilmet. I'm the lead physiotherapist for Team Sky. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through um, some simple exercises that we use and prescribe to all our riders. These exercises are just to work on certain stretches, um, on key muscle groups that we know that are specific to cycling and quite often get very tight. Okay, so what we're going to focus on now, all right, is really getting a nice good stretch through your hip flexors and through your quad, quad muscles, okay? Really dominant muscle groups in cycling. You spend so much time in this flexed position, pulling up and pushing, you know, pulling up with your hip flexor, pushing down with your quads, okay? If they get really, really tight and tender, it's going to work all the way up and what's going to happen is you're going to start getting some kind of knee pain. If you now bring your foot a bit further forward, so you're getting a really good lunge position, okay? Place your hands on your hips, look up ahead so you're getting nice good posture. And then what I want you to do is, as you lunge forward, okay, think about tilting your pelvis as well. So you just start to open up this space through here. Okay, you should feel it working through your quad and through there as well. So what you can do is you can hold the stretch 20, 30 seconds, come off it, do the other side, three to five repetitions either side, or you can hold, stay in this position here. And what you can then do is just come off it, come back onto it, 20 or 30 repetitions, sort of like one second on, one second off. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go through a rolling stretch on your tibial band. So come face that way. So that's it. Pop it. So just what we have to make sure you do is you don't come onto your hip bone here because that will become extremely painful, all right? Try and let this leg relax over the top. Keep it bent if you can. A bit tight through that hip there, I think. Okay. And then all you're doing is just rolling, using your body weight up and down. Start in a very small range, first of all. And what you can do is, as it gets easier, sink into a bit more, so come down onto your forearm. Let this leg come forward a little bit. And just try and relax onto it. I can feel the tension. It's very key that, you know, when you do do these exercises, that, you, you know, you listen to your body. If you feel any pain or any real prolonged discomfort, then stop that exercise. Um, or if you have any issues, um, at the moment, um, before you start these exercises, just make sure you've sought out the, the correct medical advice before you try.